零一九 GSA 亚太领袖论坛，我是今天的司仪 Connie。Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the GSA Asia Pacific Executive Forum. My name is Connie and I will be your MC for today. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, and uh, Minister Shelton and Vice Minister Lin and also Dr. Liu. Uh, thank you for warm remarks. And also, I have a mechanical engineering degree, and I worked at uh, Lam Research in at Fremont before. Um, some research paper said adaptive intelligence. The goal of it is to reduce human effort. Let me tell you a joke. Um, AI, everyone is talking about AI. AI is artificial intelligence, right? But artificial intelligence is actually very artificial. Why? <laughs> because a lot of AI models, it requires a lot of data to be labeled. We need a lot of training data. So those training data we need to prepare by human beings because we need a human to teach how computer can analyze data. So this is why artificial intelligence still need a lot of human being. The other way is that after those models can tell you from data to insight, those insights still need a human to form it into a contextual um, decision support. Starting from the first layer is the smart connection. So this is probably, you can imagine the IoT infrastructure or industrial IoT, we can have sensors or controllers that link together. And after that, we've got a lot of data. And the second layer is conversion, how to make the data into the information. This is a very important part, and which edge computing is very important in this layer. And after that, we have cyber level. Cyber level, we can connect from different machines, different sites. For example, with Foscom, we have a lot of different site, production sites. So we need to have all those sites that's connected together so we can make a decision from the central part. So cyber level, it says how we can collect data from different sites, connecting each of the edge device. And the combination level is about the data learn, machine learning, or you can say we have some modeling techniques on that. And then configuration level is talking about how to optimize or improve the current process by the data you got. So this is a use case what we do in our factory. For example, we have uh, more than 170,000 machine tools in the world. Yeah, we're probably the, the biggest manufacturing uh, production lines in the world. So for each machine, we actually we have three different steps. The first one is we collect each snapshot. We call snapshot because we collect data in real time. Every many seconds, we collect one condition data for those machine or components. And after we collect the data, we want to know, compare with, the, uh, for example, the anomaly detection or if it's healthy. So you need to process the data in real time. You don't want to have your, your work piece or your product to be failed if you don't catch the real time anomaly or failure. And the third one is optimize the future step. For example, if we found something that can cause a defect, then we should know the reason that the defect caused or going to, going to fail. Then we need to fix that in the earlier stage, production stage. So this is what we do in all of our manufacturing plants. For AI and also industrial AI, you can see the fluctuation. The fluctuation means that the model learning, they need some data set to support. They need the domain know-how to evaluate and become a very positive cycle to make the model better. But it will be better and better because human beings will uh, get retired, but the models will not. The machine will just be there and collect more data, it will be more intelligent. So in our fast uh, group, we have a lot of different scenarios, different uh, uh, production lines, a lot of different types. Um, so when AI lands in the industrial world, in our group, we actually have four different categories of application. 
The first one is machine vision, which we have a lot of 3D product, especially for example, the iPhone on your head. Those iPhones, you need to be very perfect when the product delivered to our customer. So we have a lot of machine vision, for example, AOI or other techniques to make sure the cosmetic is, is very perfect. So this is the first one, machine vision. On our production line, we can detect the, all the defects or failure on the production line. And the machine learning is also another very big one. As I said, we have to know the machine quality or machine health condition, which components need to be repaired or be repaired, replaced. So we need to prepare the maintenance action beforehand. And in AI terms, it's like a classification, clustering, so this is the machine learning area. The third one is knowledge discovery. This is also very important because we need to know why the product can be good, why the product may be failed. So machine, uh, knowledge discovery is something that we can find a relationship. The relation, association rule mining that we can understand why. This why is very important because we can use our engineering know-how to prevent the defect. The last one is natural language processing. It's a technique that we can understand the, the, what we are talking about, what we write about the maintenance action, because uh, sometimes we have some human efforts to fix the machine or to do some, uh, for example, scheduling thing. So we use the natural language processing to understand why people are doing that and the, to cluster what the action items they might do when they see some kind of situation. This is also a very good experience um, keeping for the, those uh, old experts that might got retired so the new younger generation can catch up the knowledge and experience they have at the first step. So adaptive learning for machine clustering is a very simple idea that we want to cluster machines uh, that is similar together. So next time if you see a newer machine, you will find a very similar cluster and understand its behavior or predict its behavior. Use the cluster. So it's like a very similar concept that if I am, for example, 35 years old, a female, and then you can find that in the world, maybe there are a bunch of 35 year old women that probably they have some interest and you can imagine maybe I do that. So this is a very simple concept of using the machines. So we also cluster machines. We do some machine profiling so we can um, adaptive intelligence because we lower the human efforts. When we have a new machine, we don't need to collect a bunch of data. We can use the old data, peer data to analyze it. And also we have the idea called the cyber tree model. So for each machine, it will have a cyber image on the cloud. So it can do something that we know what the machine is going on. And this is what we call the risk uh, relationship mining because we can know what cause the, 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 the final cause and we can avoid the defect. And this is the, something I, know, I, I told before that we want to reduce the samples we need um, so we use scan for creating data. This is some uh, image from welding process. So for welding process, we can just use a camera to see if the welding point is good or not. Uh, or not. And then we can use scan algorithm to create more data for training so our machine can be more, more intelligent. So this is my presentation. Thank you very much for everyone.